this is uh, a website, followthemoney.org. Uh, as a way of background, we compile comprehensive state-level campaign finance data. As I said in my, my intro earlier, that's every contributor record. We go through 90,000 reports, more than 90,000 reports, filed by each legislative statewide candidate, political <coughs> party committee, or now we're doing ballot measures and some independent expenditure committees. We input that data from electronic data, from PDFs. We input it from paper in about half the states. We audit our files, so we are creating a verifiable treasure trove of information for everyone. And to put in the, the plug, most important for this group, I think, right now, is under products and services, uh, you can see we have APIs, and you can build, using our methods, uh, any of the information on our general website into your website. We launched this just over a year ago, and we have 130 people have logged in and are now building our data into their... 130 uh, different people? 130 different people have logged in. About you know, a quarter of those are doing meaningful stuff. Newspapers, uh, Project Vote Smart was a pilot that we launched, uh, and they have uh, several million hits already. Um, the, uh, what we obviously have a, a very big challenge ahead of us in pre presenting the information in a way that's useful to people. Our general uh, approach is to just throw information out there and let people start clicking through it. We answer the basic questions about the institute or about the information, the states in general list like everybody else out there. And so this is one of the um, places that you get top contributors. And I'm going to skip ahead here real quick. Um, economic sector breakdowns, if you want to find out uh, who gave data or, or gave contributions. You want to find this out is which at the state level. this is at the state level. Yes, this is we're a sister organization to the Center for Responsive Politics, so our coding matches theirs. And if you want to do a top-down analysis, uh, you can actually get into looking at the specific contributors via that side over there. Um, I didn't want to go there. Not to waste any more information any time on that. Um, one of the things we've started doing is the visualizing the data in a way that answers specific questions. We had a question about how many districts in the country are competitive at legislative level. It's about 25% are actually what you'd call competitive. This map lets you look at that, go into a state, do a breakdown, and actually look within the districts to find out whether they're competitive or not. We do some nice little pop-ups uh, for that. The other tool that we put together, our first uh, attempt at a, a visual tool is we're the pulse uh, scatter plot. Um, we're, we're using the visual analysis with the idea that we'll be able to uh, eventually start visualizing policy analysis. We'll look at a policy and say, okay, does this work or doesn't work? In this case, the best example uh, is Arizona where they did a clean money reform, political reform. And if you look at Arizona, all sectors back in 98, you get a nice little scatter plot that looks like that. Uh, blue, red are the obvious, the hollow buttons are incumbents, the medians, the top is the winner's median, the lower is the loser's median, and there are pop-ups on all of this that show you. So the hollow that. buttons are the incumbents, incumbents. they won so across the board. Across the board, really scattered uh, contributions. You click on one of these, you will actually get there. But now if we click ahead in time to 2006, you can see the effects after a clean money reform, redistricting also in term limits, but you see how your median came together. So in this case, we're looking at using the data, putting it in a visual, in a, a special tool that lets you answer a very specific policy question. And I start thinking of things like, uh, you know, school lunches. Where you get? Hold up. Now I've done it. No, sorry. No, leave it there. Okay. Let's let's skip ahead because that's followthemoney.org. There's all kinds of stuff there. I don't want to belabor the point. Um, we are moving into the world of APIs ourselves. This one here is a matter of hours old, and uh, you're not exactly sworn to secrecy, but it'll be under a different URL after the first year we'll launch this. This is mashing our contribution data with Project VoteSmart's information. Project VoteSmart compiles candidate biographical information, voting information, committees, uh, speeches, all kinds of stuff. So you can go to all 50 states. In this case, I'm going to go to Illinois and say, show me which committees are active in Illinois. Reach out to 
this, and the idea here is that 90% of the legislation that comes down the pike in any particular state is killed or approved ostensibly in committee. So we wanted to do a committee analysis tool that lets people look at the committee. So using VoteSmart's committee database, our campaign finance database, you're able to see, this is, these are the committee members with the total amounts they raised, their designation, where they came from, and the top contributors to the committee aggregated. Now, in this case, because it's the insurance committee, we'll say, okay, how many of these contributors were from insurance, or in this case, a more general sector, finance, insurance, real estate? And you now see the sector numbers here filling in compared to the numbers that they raised total, and then the top contributors to the committee. Not surprisingly, uh, insurance companies are right up there. Those are the top, so the Illinois Realtor Association. Well, this is, the this is because of across all members of the committee in the campaign in the finance insurance the and real estate sector insurance. now let me i could spend a lot of time explaining this but this is because this was looking at functionality could we create an api that said give me the committee list and combine it with our campaign finance data what we'll eventually be able to do and i'll, I'll wrap up by talking about the future is taking this tool instead of looking at a general sector that lumps finance insurance and real estate you'll be able to select just insurance We'll be able to select just uh, the Illinois Insurance Association and find out if they gave contributions to this committee. We're right now building a database of lobbyists, state-level lobbyists and their clients in all 50 states. You'll be able to click a button here that said, how much did lobbyists give? And you'll get the lobbyists' contributions to these people. Any one of these names you can click on and go back and find that information or find deeper information about them. The next step from that, that's going to be happening just after the first of the year, is an earmarked contracts vendors database. In 26, the state in 26 right. states, the contractor vendor data is available. About 11 of those is in good quality. We would like to go out, computerize that, link it, and make it so that you get to see when someone testifies in front of a committee and you see who their lobbyist is, you can see if then they had a contract or uh, got a vendor's Got a check. Um, so this is this is the institute breaking down as many barriers as we can to this very detailed information at a wholesale level. We we promote groups like what Dan's doing at, at MapLight because it's the last mile where the local knowledge is most valuable. We can never fill that in. We never want to. Groups like Dan that are taking it and on the next link here, input a bill number and say where did that which committees did that bill go through? You know and start tracking it backwards is where we want to go. So that's uh, questions. Thank you.